Yes, my people, Sorrel. Finally put the recipe together for you guys. I hope you guys give it a try. Um, Sorrel is one of those refreshing drinks down in the Caribbean, um, especially around Christmas time when the, the flower is in bloom. Um, I wasn't able to get the fresh flowers, but I did use the dried ones. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. I hope you guys are enjoying the recipes. Remember to click subscribe above, guys. And below, you're going to see where you can leave the comments as well as give me the thumbs up. Um, hit the like, thumbs up, whatever it is you guys see around. It, it helps the video becomes more, become more popular. Um, Sorrel. Um, so many of you have been asking for the Sorrel, Sorrel recipe, so I finally put it together. Um, <laughs> Whenever I hear the word sorrel for the past couple of years now, I tend to break out in a bit of a laugh or a smile simply because um, there were these guys uh, in a YouTube video singing that uh, you want some sorrel or what? I don't know if you guys remember the video, but search on YouTube, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's quite funny. Um, it broke out into a party in their kitchen, basically. Uh, sorrel, yeah, guys. Um, we're going to make some sorrel. Stay tuned. We're going to put this thing together. You guys can have it at Christmas time. I mean, it's a, it's a refreshing drink now that we're getting it um, in a dried form. There's no need to only make it at Christmas time. We'll quickly go through the ingredients for making the sorrel drink. In this pot here, I've got nine cups of water, um, which I'm going to bring to a boil. The store of the, the moment, sorrel. What I have is dried sorrel. Um, it came in a package here. Here I have two cups of the dried sorrel. Growing up on the islands, my dad would always have the sorrel growing in the, uh, the garden between the peas and the corn. And uh, we would use fresh sorrel. But this recipe I'm going to be showing you guys is for dried sorrel. Pretty much something you can source just about anywhere in the world now. At your favorite West Indian, Caribbean, uh, Asian, or even... Um, the typical supermarket usually carry them now in North America especially. So I've got two cups of the dried sorrel here. One cup of sugar. A teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. One cinnamon stick as well as um, one, two, three, four sticks of clove. I'm not sure how you say that, but four cloves. Um, you will find that some recipes may ask you to, to use more cinnamon as well as more cloves. I like to taste the sorrel in the drink. These are just enhancers for the actual drink. This is why you'll notice I'm using quite a bit of sorrel, two cups of dried sorrel for my drink. Um, feel free to use more cloves if you want, and use more cinnamon if you like, but this is like the the starting ground of a, a, an excellent sorrel um, recipe for you guys. <clears throat> You'll also notice that I'm starting with a cup of sugar, and some of you may think that uh, it's quite a bit, but trust me, this is just a starting ground. I'm, I'm saying one cup of sugar, simply because you can always add more sugar late, uh, later on in the process. Again, it's gonna be according to your taste, your uh, how much you like uh, your drink sweet, but that's basically it. So we've got the nine cups of water boiling on the, in the pot here, the two cups of dried sorrel, one cup of sugar, a teaspoon of grated ginger, four cloves, one stick of cinnamon. The water is just coming to a boil now, so all I'm going to do is add all the ingredients that I showed you guys here into the pot, let it simmer for about five minutes, then we're going to shut the fire off, like the, turn the stove off, put a lid on there and let that steep for at least four hours. Um, perfect case scenario, you would do this overnight, um, four hours at least, and you should be good to go. So all I'm going to do, and I want to explain another thing. The reason why I'm adding the sugar now to the pot is because it will, it will dissolve faster in the warm water rather than if you were to allow it to cool and then add the sugar to it. So I'm going to add the sorrel, the ginger, cinnamon, cloves, and sugar to the pot. It's been simmering now for about five minutes. I'm just gonna remove the lid to show you guys here. It's gonna be a dark, rich red color. Um, you should be getting that sort of uh, smell, that scent that should be familiar to you being um, sorrel. If you haven't um, experienced sorrel being boiled before, well, 
here you go guys this is this is uh this is your first time i guess but anyway um this is what it's going to look like it's been simmering like i said now for about five minutes i'm going to give it a final stir then i'm going to shut the stove off and put the lid back on i'm going to allow that i'm going to put it on the corner of the stove allow that to cool um, allow it to steep for about four hours at least and then we're going to strain it and have some with some uh, with some crushed ice and stuff like that. So after about four or five hours, what I did was using the strainer here, because remember we um, we had all those dried sorrel in the pot as well as the cloves and the cinnamon and everything else. I strained it into a jug, and that's about it. This is the jug here with the the uh, completed sorrel drink. Um, if you remember we use nine cups of water so um, you're getting nine cups basically of sorrel drink um, one thing I wanted to, re to remind you guys remember when we started off we used one cup of sugar I ended up almost using two cups of sugar at the end um, we started off using one because this way you can adjust the sugar uh, in your drink in my case I like my drink a little bit sweeter than maybe some other people so I ended up with about, I ended up using two cups in total of sugar. Um, put it in the fridge, it should last in the fridge for about a week or so. Um, if you're not gonna use this right away, you can put it into any sort of um, bottle or plastic container you may have, keep it in the fridge there. And it's good to go guys, on a, on a hot day. I mean, say this is good at Christmas time as well, too. this is more, more popular at Christmas time down on the islands than anything else. But here we go guys, this is the sorrel drink. Remember if you're watching this on YouTube, above me you're gonna see the subscribe button, click on it. Leave me your comments below, as well as give me the thumbs up. You're gonna see the like button somewhere around, either the bottom of me or the top of me, uh, depending if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or not. Um, go ahead and click that as well. 